Yo my people them, I hope you're enjoying the last couple of hours that remain in 2022. Hope you guys have had a great year and I'd just like to thank everyone for all the support you have given me throughout this whole entire year, my first year on YouTube and the second year is going to be even better with much more content for you guys so make sure to look out for it but yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful 2023 also. But Let's get into this juicy report. Juicy report that's basically saying that Enzo Fernandez is very close to joining Chelsea. So the report is Enzo Fernandez to Chelsea is close. Fixed price and premiums is very close to 130 million euros, which is 150 million pounds. Benfica has opened the door to the transfer and expects a total agreement to be reached in the first week of January. That was reported by Mate Morato and Fabrizio Romano then reported um that boy um Fabrizio Romano has then reported there was no direct contact today between Chelsea and Benfica for Enzo Fernandez. It will be discussed again tomorrow next week. The deal is advanced but still waiting for Benfica final decision. Chelsea are insisting as they feel deal can be closed next week. And even though he says something different, he didn't necessarily say the same words, in my opinion, that just means that, um, obviously, as you can see, that's what Fabrizio Romano did show. So, that's what he did show. If you can read that, if you read that, that's what he showed. And then, obviously, my mate Morato has said, what I said previously. So um everything is looking likely that Br um Enzo Fernandez will become a Chelsea player. And 115 million pounds is a lot of money, a world record fee for us. And not just that will be the record fee in Premier League history. For someone that's twenty one years old, everyone will be thinking, most people will be thinking it's outrageous amount of money to pay. And truth be told, it is. It is. But in this day and age, you're going to have to get along with the fact that prices are getting hefty. There's certain guys in the world that money was spent on them and they didn't feel like that should have been. Someone like, let's say, Harry Maguire for Manchester United or even Pepe for Arsenal. Just to name a few. So... It's like the price tag is there, they could be flops, but nonetheless, we even have it in ourselves with Romelu Lukaku. So, another big money signing. I feel like hopefully that this one can work because this is a player that can, that can possibly take our midfield to the next level. He's 21 years old, he has helped Benfica qualify for the Champions League knockout stages by also with PSG in their group as well, finishing on level points but had a better goal difference. He also came to Argentina squad in the World Cup as a sub. Somehow, after scoring a great goal against Mexico, he has then progressed to be a star every single game and to be an important player. Using um like the way he moves the way he moves, like he's just on man. He's ready to pounce, pounce. He has good pace, can have a great eye for goal like his defensive awareness is just excellent so which is why if you played him in like a double pivot or as like a number six then that would be hard because he can even play as an eight because he can get goals it's like he has the all-round package for a midfielder and hopefully it can happen i would really want him to come right now because yeah at some point our midfielders are going to get sold and we haven't sold, signed the midfielder in damn near how long? About four years. So this right now is going to be the start of the revolution because we've got Nkunku coming this summer. We've got so many other talents like Andre Santos who's going to come in January, Dacho Fofano, as well as Badi Shao that's meant to be coming and also, um, and also Enzo Fernandez who we're speaking about. The, vi um, the vision is looking bright and I'm just hoping that eventually everything can work out because we still got Kente on the books for the season, still got Jorginho on the books, Kovacic, them four, 
plus Enzo Fernandez. We still got Loftus Cheek, Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher, Lewis Hall. He could all play Carney Shakuri Mecca, like Zacharia. So much midfield talent that we have at our disposal. Midfield is what controls games, and if we can get these guys to pattern and play very well as a team, then it's peak because not just do we have strong players to start, but strong players to come off the bench. So I feel like this um transfer this transfer if it does happen, I'll be happy. I won't really care too much about the price no more because it is what it is. You're gonna have to spend money to make money and making money means winning titles. So in a few years time if we're looking back saying yep yeah, Champions League we've won Premier League we've won FA Cup we've won like we are taking it because you will be like yes this was money well spent and that's the whole point we can only know if it's good money well spent is if, if we spend the money and see the player shine it's either he flops or he shines a lot of them have flopped over the years but with this new um, regime the new board hopefully those are the days of the past and this right now can be our future and we can build upon Enzo Fernandez as well as other players in the team that will eventually be a part of our midfield. So that's going to be it for me um, regarding this Chelsea transfer target update on Enzo Fernandez. I want you guys to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I want you guys to tell me whether you want Enzo Fernandez at Chelsea, yes or no? Is the price tag too much? Is it? Do you guys want another alternative? Would you rather have Declan Rice? Would you rather get Drew Bellingham? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know. But yep, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. As well as follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Redis Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea.